Hey people, I'm back with another video and today I have another Bath and Body Works review for you all. So I'm actually going to be reviewing two popular pumpkin scents from Bath and Body Works. In general, I'm not really much of a pumpkin scent kind of girl, but I do have two pumpkin scents in my collection. I did fe feature them in my Project Use It Up video. And so I just want to give you all my thoughts on it because I have been using it the last few days. So um, I'll start off with the shower gel. So, well, let me tell you the two scents I'm going to be talking about. It's going to be white pumpkin and chai and then uh, marshmallow pumpkin latte. So these are the two scents I'll be talking about today. I have been using them together since they're kind of in the same scent family. Um, but first I want to talk about white pumpkin and chai. Um, this is what the packaging looks like on this. It's super cute. You know, it's definitely giving me fall vibes, you know, <laughs> Thanksgiving fall vibes. So um, the scent notes on it is pumpkin. I'm sorry, cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin and vanilla glaze. So this scent actually it's really good though. I actually really enjoy this scent. So again, I'm not really big on pumpkin spice scents, but in the shower, this really just smells like warm apple cider to me. It doesn't even smell too pumpkin-y. I get more of an apple scent from this um, when I'm using it. And maybe just cider in general, um, when you smell it, it kind of reminds you of apple, but it says cinnamon cider. It really smells like apple cider to me. Um, and so when you use it in the shower and it's warm, it's like, and it's warm. So it's kind of like warm apple cider. It feels really good. It smells really good going on the body. Um, the lather on this is really good. It lathers nicely. Um, lasting power isn't that well though. I would say when you get out the shower, you maybe get maybe an hour, if that of the scent on your skin. So lasting power of it outside the shower isn't that great, but the scent itself is not bad um you do smell the vanilla as well so it's like a sweet it's to me it's like a sweet apple to me it smells more like a of a sweet um a sweet cider and so i think that vanilla really lends to the sweetness of it you do get that pumpkin spice in here it's not very strong at all it's very subtle to be honest with you so yeah i mean if you're looking for a pumpkin scent from bath and body works that's not super overwhelming like in your face pumpkin pumpkin i think this is a good one to try out i do like it but there is an aspect of it that i don't really care for when i'm using it in the shower and that's that it gets a little bit sickeningly sweet if i'm using it for too long so i notice like when i lather with it more than once or twice like this smell it kind of gets a little sickeningly sweet to me and low-key kind of turns my stomach a little bit so this is something when i'm using it in the shower i actually have to use another body wash first to kind of get the lather and everything going and then after that i can use this for one lather and it's just right so i'll see if i can finish using it in the shower gel and if not then i'll probably go ahead and um maybe use it as like a hand wash, a hand soap or something like that but it is nice if you're looking for a pumpkin scent that isn't too crazy what i've been pairing it with is the marshmallow pumpkin latte and that's what that packaging looks like it's really beautiful like i love the packaging on this and the scent notes on it is pumpkin latte toasted marshmallow creamy sandalwood and praline musk um this scent is good why do i feel about it i don't know it's not my favorite scent to be honest with you you really smell like the pumpkin in it it just smells like it smells like a creamy pumpkin scent to me and pump like i said pumpkin isn't my favorite so I, i'm not really that big of a fan of it but i mean it's okay um i really thought that this was going to be a nice hydrating body lotion because when you turn it over you see that it doesn't like rush to the bottom and typically with bath and body Works since if it doesn't rush to the bottom like that that means it's a thicker formula and it's going to be super hydrating i was actually disappointed to discover this wasn't hydrating at all on the skin so i was a little sad about that and the scent does not last long either i would say after a couple of hours maybe an hour or two if that the scent is already gone so those two pumpkin scents together it really didn't do me all that good i know a lot of people love marshmallow pumpkin latte i mean it's it's okay right but it's just not my favorite the scent isn't that great and then like i said the lasting power isn't that good and it dries my skin out so 
I mean, go ahead and give it a try if you want to, but these are just my thoughts on these two scents here. All right, so yeah, let me know what you all think about those two scents. Do you have them? Do you like them? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I am actually currently hosting a giveaway on my channel, so definitely check the description box if you all are interested in entering for your chance to win. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on these scents. Like, do you like pumpkin spice scents? Do you like the pumpkin scents from Bath & Body Works? Do you have either one of these scents? And if so, what are your thoughts on them? Again, I'm a little bit biased. I'm not that big of a fan of pumpkin scents, but they're not horrible. It's just not my, my cup of tea, right? So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Saturdays in particular are my Bath & Body Works videos. So if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.